Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this awesome geometric pattern in Adobe Illustrator. This pattern is 3D and is pretty simple to make using my techniques and my step-by-step -step process in Adobe Illustrator. Also at the very end of the video, I'm going to show you guys this really neat watch that Nordgreen has sent to me to show you guys in today's video. So if you want to get a Scandinavian sophisticated watch, check out the tail end of this video for an in-depth detailed look on my new watch. I'm going to walk you all through the design process on how to make a 3D geometric pattern in Adobe Illustrator. I will show you how to scale the cubes down to a quarter of the original size to even add some uniqueness to the design itself, like you can see in the corner here. The first thing you need to do is press M for the rectangle tool and then draw a perfect square by holding down shift and clicking and dragging along the artboard. We need to rotate the cube by 45 degrees like so and then go ahead and open up the transform window under the distortion section in the effects window. On this very top slider here, we can stretch the square out to the sides by a specific scale. You can check the preview box to see the changes in real time. We're going to stretch the square by 200% along the horizontal corners. So once you've done that, go ahead and expand the shape. To make sure your 3D geometric pattern design is equal and perfectly aligned, you'll want to activate your smart guides. Now this is absolutely crucial in today's tutorial on how to make a 3D geometric pattern in Illustrator, and you're going to see why soon. Hold down the Alt Option key and click and drag your shape to duplicate it below perfectly so the top anchor point is aligned with the bottom point on the original shape. The smart guides will inform you when it's in line with an intersect notification. Press P for the pen tool and then draw in a shape using the two shapes as guides like so. You can press V to select off of the pen tool path and then duplicate this new shape over to the right. Reflect this shape in the reflect window along the vertical axis. Once you have your three shapes in place, your template for your 3D geometric pattern is basically ready. So to really add a 3D effect in today's tutorial, we're going to add gradients to our shapes. You'll want to use a loose color scheme for your design, and I decided to go with a kind of pink color combination for my 3D geometric pattern. On this right hand shape here, you want the bottom right of the shape to be slightly in shadow compared to the left. So you might have to play around the direction of the gradient and make the color gradient quite subtle. On the left hand shape, we want the overall color to be lighter, but still to have a slight shadow in the bottom left of the shape. On the top shape, you can press I for the eyedropper tool and sample the gradient from the left hand shape. We want this part of the design to be the lightest, but it still needs to have a shadow coming from the very top. So we now have the cube for our 3D geometric pattern design complete and ready to finish the rest of the project. Select all of the three shape components and then press command or control G to group everything together. This is going to be another section of this tutorial where the smart guides prove to be essential. You want everything to be perfect in this part of your design process. Use the Alt Option key to duplicate the cube up and to the right, looking for that intersect notification. With the shape still selected, press Command or Control D to repeat the process over and over again. You then simply need to select the new set of shapes and duplicate them again. 
and then use the command or control D function to repeat it over and over again. So do this until you feel you have enough shapes to make up a 3D geometric pattern. We still have some cool things to do to our design today, so stay tuned. Duplicate one of the cubes and then with it selected, open up the transform window. We want to make sure we scale the cube exactly down by 25% of the original. And to do that, simply change the scale sliders down to 25% on both axes. You would then need to expand the appearance of the shape. Now you can start to have some fun by duplicating the shape over and over again in a way that's really going to add to your 3D geometric pattern design. This might take some time and you can use the smart guides to keep everything perfectly in line. You may need to apply some trial and error and you might need to use command or control Z to move back a step if you do make a mistake. Also, you can move certain shapes to the front of all layers so your 3D pattern looks correct. So once you have a collection of small shapes, you might realize that each square doesn't blend into each other. You'll want to go ahead and ungroup all specific shapes of that selection and then hold down shift to select specific areas at once. So I'm going to select the dark pink sides of this shape here and then in the Pathfinder window you can unite them all together as one shape. This will then connect and blend the gradient along one side totally. You can spend a lot of time working on your geometric 3D pattern but to save time I've just added a few smaller squares to my design. You can now crop the design onto your artboard and I'm going to show you how to do that. Select everything and then group it together with command or control G. You will then need to lock this group selection. Press M for the rectangle tool and then carefully draw a rectangle perfectly along your artboard like so. Finally, unlock everything and then right or control click the design and choose clipping mask. Your design is now cropped and you can flip or edit it as you see fit. So Nordgreen sent me a watch and I was really really pleased when it arrived. Nordgreen is a superior Scandinavian design of watch like no other. And that's obtained thanks to a collaboration with Jacob Wagner. As you can see, there is a neat and sophisticated attention to detail on the watch design itself. It even has a month counter on the display. Nordgreen watches have high quality leather straps, but the watch that I chose for them to send to me has a stainless steel strap instead. I love how it feels on my wrist and I'm very happy they decided to send it to me. You can check out their collection of watches via the link in the description below, which will take you to Nordgreen's website. They have watches for men and women and offer you a great service. Also, something that's really neat, and it's rare for companies to do something like this, is that Nordgreen has a give back program, where they set up a system to pay forward to those in need. 
So check out Nordgreen and grab yourself a neat sophisticated Scandinavian watch. So there is today's video on making a cool geometric 3D pattern in Adobe Illustrator. Let me know what you guys thought of today's video down in the comment section below. I always love to hear your feedback and your opinions on my content. And also, if you do find my content useful, go ahead and share on social media and also drop a like on the video down below. Subscribe to Satoru Graphics for weekly graphic design content. And also check out Nordgreen via the link in the description below. And of course, until next time, design your future today. Peace.